All right, so our next step after you have your grub screws installed is now we have to wrestle this guy back on. I'm gonna flip the knuckle down, pop my shaft right through you. So we're flipping our knuckle down, popping our shafts here, knocking all our bearings out. So <laughs> this slips back on there one way or another. As I said, this is a wrestling match all of a sudden. Get you guys a view of this here. I want to try to line up our two little grub screws with those flat spots and it's a little pain in the ass keep losing that bearing don't worry about that once we put hexes on that will solve the issue okay I don't know if I can get a screwdriver on it Slash for my force have just this ridiculous bumper hanging off the back in the way of all of this stuff that should be readily accessible. Is to some extent. Let's see. I'm gonna get this one about like halfway in and then attempt to rotate. There we go. Let's see, so that's the other side now. Three quarter, a little less than three quarter on this side. Rotate again. Oh yeah, we have room to go on that guy. So I am recessed. Jeez. There we go. I am recessed a couple, maybe three. Um, threads on this side. So we're gonna flip again. This bumper is super annoying, sorry. Come in here. about the same. Let's rotate. That's a little further on this side. Pop this guy a couple more threads. I don't want to go all the way out so I do want to be holding the screw and this meat here as well as the center. Um, So even if they're not bottoming out, like each screw touching itself, you're you're good like that. And you really do want to give this this Loctite some time to dry up for you. So I I'm not gonna even test run this till the morning, to be honest, because I don't trust these little cheap screws. 